Hi, I'm Robert Schuch, and this is my preliminary review of the rendering speed of Sony Vegas Pro version 11. Here we have some footage taken with the Canon 5D Mark II, and you can see it's playing perfectly smoothly. We've got 30 frames per second running in the Vegas 11 window, and it is using the GPU to render the video. You can see there's about a 40% GPU load. Uh, in contrast to nothing on the old version when it's just playing a video. And here we have the old version 10 rendering the same video out to uh, 1080p using standard uh, YouTube presets. And you can see it's just crawling along rendering. You can almost count the individual frames uh, in 10 using Sony's AVC codec uh, with GPU acceleration. You can see the load is around 16-17% right there. I actually found that this was slower than using CPU only rendering on my particular machine, which is a Q6600 quad core. You can see it's using only about half of the available uh, CPU cycles when it's in GPU rendering mode. So it's not very efficient. Contrast that to the new version 11 and we can see the rendering speed is much faster. You can see the frames just flying by as it renders this time using the main concept codec, which I found was more efficient than Sony's. Uh, both of them now have GPU rendering capabilities, and you can see the GPU load is now around half, around 50% or so. It jumps up and down a little bit, but it's using about half of my GTS 450 uh, NVIDIA card, and the CPU load this time is using all four cores. You can see we're close to 100%. I think that's about 85% on the CPU load. So to conclude, you can see we're getting much better rendering performance uh, across the board. My fastest rendering speed using Vegas Pro 10 was using the Sony codec CPU only at about three minutes, and the main concept codec now renders in about two minutes. That's about a 50% speed up.